Updating our breaking news, that big explosion at a and fire at an oil refinery in southwest Philadelphia. Yeah, and that explosion was heard as far away as northeast Philadelphia and even parts of New Jersey. Ivan is these reporter Shante Lands is live at the scene to bring us up to date with the details. Shante, what can you tell us? Yeah, Janelle and Jim, I spoke with some of those residents who say their homes were rocked here in southwest Philadelphia. Also spoke with a man in the northeast who felt his home shake. He actually drove down here and spoke with us as well, and he's been shooting video. Now, this is what the scene looks like right now. Uh, as you mentioned, it is contained, so that's the good news. There were some evacuations, though. Even better news is that no one was hurt so far. That's according to fire officials. We want to give you a live Chopper 3 view overhead of what that oil refinery looks like and we just learned that there was actually a fire there just about 11 days ago so crews obviously have their hands full they're still working around the clock uh, this happened around 4 a.m the sky was lit up with an orange glow our cameras actually showed it we're going to get that to you as well uh, many described that scene that large uh, uh, glow in the air it's very rare that, that something like this happens in fact i spoke with a woman down in this neighborhood that actually described this happening back in 1995. I spoke with uh, another couple who talked about this happening uh, 30 years ago when, when he was a kid. So this, this does happen. They're somewhat aware of this. They're used to this, but they're just thankful that nothing uh, harmed them, that no one was hurt. They've been up. They're still up, uh, kind of just monitoring this. One woman said that she was supposed to go to work. She was getting ready for work when that explosion happened, when both of the explosions happened happened and she's just kind of outside of her house just staring at it just kind of waiting and seeing what's going to happen before she goes ahead to work there's also a neighborhood uh, that remains in uh, shelter in place that's according to the Philadelphia OEM uh, that's uh, 26th Street east of uh, the oil refinery so this is affecting uh, plenty of lives people Janelle as you mentioned they they felt it all the way in uh, South Jersey so this this is a, a something that people are kind of keeping their eye on, uh, something that certainly doesn't happen every day. Uh, but back out live here to the scene again, um, that is what officials have been dealing with. This is what they will continue to deal with. Now, we, of course, are working to try to get you some answers once we can, uh, waiting to speak with uh, fire officials, uh, OEM, to see what specifically caused that fire. We also want to mention that there was a, uh, a produce uh, center that was nearby. I spoke with a gentleman who was working there around 4 a.m. He uh, described how him and about 15 other employees were inside there at the time in that produce center when they heard the photo first explosion they said it felt like thunder they didn't even know what it was but once they figured it out they had to quickly evacuate and move their cars everyone there thankfully okay everyone else around in these neighborhoods are okay so that's what's most important but we of course as I mentioned will continue to try to get you some answers on what caused that explosion to happen reporting live in southwest Philadelphia Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News that chopper shot, you see the fire brigade of the oil refinery continuing to pour water onto the fire, which is contained, but obviously they still have a lot of work ahead of them. Our breaking news con coverage continues on our website. You can log on right now to watch that chopper three live over the refinery fire. That is at cbsphilly.com.